Welcome to the tutorial for the brand new microbar, the animated health bar framework. If you encounter any difficulties or have any questions, join us on our Discord server. We have this nice scene with our little blue character. Currently, we can damage and heal him, but we have no idea about his health level. We will solve that problem today with the help of microbar. So, I got our character selected and I will just add a health bar to him. Navigate by right clicking, selecting Microlite, Microbar, and then choosing one of the preset health bars bundled with Microbar. The punch health bar seems like a good choice, but it looks like our health bar is not positioned properly. Let's fix that. Okay, we have our health bar, but it does nothing for now. We need to update it when the character's health changes. Let's head over to Visual Studio. Here we can see the code for our scene, which is very simple. Just functions for damaging and healing our character. To integrate our health bar, first, we need to tell the script that we will be using the microbar library. Let's add a using statement for microbar. Great, and now we can create a reference for our health bar. To be able to use the health bar, we need to initialize it first. So let's initialize it in the start function with the maximum health. Now that we are able to use our health bar, we need to update it with health value. We have an HP property, which is a great place to update it. Okay, let's head to the editor, reference our health bar in our script and test out our new health bar. This looks great, but I need more from the healing animation. I would like to have a different animation for healing and then customize it. Microbar support multiple types of animations, but first, we need to modify our script so that the health bar knows when to use the healing animation and when to use the damage animation. Let's store a flag to indicate if our health update is damage or heal. If the new value of health is greater than the current value, then this is considered a heal. When updating Microbar, we can choose which animation will be triggered by the update anim parameter. The code part of our modification is complete. Let's now head to the editor, compile our scripts, and start our game to see the new effects. We now have different animations for damaging and healing our character. The current heal animation is the default one for the punch health bar, but I would like to customize it to make it more personal. I would like to turn my bar green when healing. So with our game still running, let's head to our health bar and inspect the healing animation. I will add a new command to the animation and move that new command to the top of the animation list. Command needs to affect the color of the image with no delay. It needs to happen immediately without any duration and color value needs to be green. It looks great, but it seems the color persists in the damage animation as well. That's because the damage animation never changes the color of the bar, so it stays green from the heal animation. Let's fix that by adding the same command to the damage ghost bar animation, but with the white color. This looks great and works without problems, but before we stop our game, we need to copy our component and paste it over when we are out of play mode. And we are done. Microbar can create beautiful animated bars, not just for health, but also for stamina or mana in just a few minutes. We have a Discord community. So if you have any questions, need some help, want to share your creations, or just want to chat, feel free to join down below. Leaving a review on the Unity Asset Store or leaving a like on this video also really helps us a lot. See you in our next tutorial.